Hey guys. Should I come to y'all today? Because I got questions and I need answers. Uh -uh, don't, don't text me yet. My baby texts me. So I got questions and I just want some answers. So I am here celebrating my friend girl. She had a birthday. It's still her birthday because her birthday is all month long. And um, she hit me up and told me her birthday was coming and we went to talk and I said, look, I'm going to jump on the plane and I'll be there. We're going to celebrate this birthday. And that's what we did. So she lives in New York. And y'all know it's right up my alley to go to New York. So I jump on the plane. But before I jump on the plane, I called my friend girl up who lives here. She and I talking. And she said, oh, we can do this, that, and the other when you get here. And I told her, no. I said, because it's, you know, it's a girl birthday. I ain't going to leave her like that. She said, no, no, you got friends in the city. You can always visit. I said, well, I'm going to the play, this, that, and other. So she told me she wanted to go to the Michael Jackson Broadway play. Which was cool because it was two plays that I wanted to go to. Michael Jackson was a cheaper one. And I was getting a ticket for my homegirl. It's her birthday. Hear me out, y'all. So I'm getting a ticket for my homegirl, right? So she gets the ticket. We all sitting together, whatever. So she calls me up. She said, hey, you made it in the city? Where you at? I'll come by. And I said, no. She said, no, no, shoot me the girl address. I said, I'm not going to shoot you the girl address because, you know, you don't give people addresses out. So I said, no. So I told her the area that I'm in, but I would not give her the address. I said, no, I'm, I'm going to chill right here. So I would talk to my friend girl. My friend girl said, look, I ain't ready to get up yet. I said, well, since you ain't ready to get up yet, meet me halfway so I can meet up with my Jersey friend. After the conversation went on, now remember, I'm here for a birthday celebration. The conversation went on. It got late. My friend girl, she, the birthday girl, she's, she's coming with us. So we get to some shopping center. If y'all been following me long enough, y'all know that I ain't about to spend no money. Like, I'm literally not about, I'm not about to spend no money, but I did jump on a nice pair of shades. I should put them on now that I'm talking about it. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my shades so I can be cool with this. I'm trying to be cool while I talk to y'all. Watch out. Vehicle on shoulder ahead. They better watch out for us. <laughs> but no, so we get to the shopping center and I make it a point to say, look at that. Woo! Y'all, them Tom Fords. Let me take the little price tag off. Y'all know I be too happy when I buy stuff. I got the price tag on it. I hate people like that. But anyway, so y'all, we get to the little shopping center, and I say that um, we all decide that we hungry. And I say, well, I'm not going to. I'm cooler than the fan now, y'all. But I say, I'm not going to spend no lot of money on no food. So I can... I ain't going to explain that I can do what I want to do, but I just don't do what I want to do because I am very, I'm, I'm frugal with my money. So we walking through and we decide to get something to eat. Now in the middle of this walk and all this stuff that we're doing, my Jersey friend forgets that it ain't her birthday. Okay, you like them shades, Richard? Yeah, them nice, ain't it? Them, them Tom Fords, them big boys. Boy, <laughs> I'm sorry, come on, y'all focus, stay focused. So, my Jersey friend must forget that it ain't her birthday. So, my um, birthday girl, we, we going around looking. And I'm kind of paying attention to the birthday girl. She don't know it, because if she pick up something within reason, but you ain't pick up them shoes. Because if you'd pick up the shoes when I say buy one, get one. If you just said you wanted them, then I was going to buy the shoes. But you didn't pick it up. Police reported ahead. So, any, oh, good. so anyway, so we walking around. Now, this friend, the Jersey friend, is, is Jersey and birthday girl. So y'all keep that in mind. Jersey and birthday girl. So Jersey girl, Jersey girl didn't had all this. Jersey girl is, she's a little superficial. She's my dog, but she's superficial, okay? So me and birthday girl ain't really like that, but you know how you can find that one in between like I'm between the two Jersey girl is no nonsense I mean birthday girl is no nonsense she like to think that she ain't but she's no nonsense okay she likes to think that she's not so anyway Jersey girl going off 
Jersey girl going to Prada store. Oh yeah, I'ma jump on this. Jersey girl say this. Jersey girl is a name brand freak. So Jersey girl just going in on everything that she got name brand. Me and birthday girl don't care. I know Jersey girl, so it ain't bother me, right? Birthday girl can't stomach it. She's getting aggravated up to here. But on top of her being aggravated, I thought that Jersey girl was being territorial because I kept feeling Jersey girl lean on me. My birthday girl said, I don't know what to do, but she's too close to me. <laughs> so she was leaning on both of us, right? So all this was going on. Birthday girl was not happy with it. Birthday girl just felt like it's a little too much. She's overbearing. It's my birthday. She's your friend. I'm going to let it ride. It's whatever. So when we get ready to go, um, Jersey girl comes up to me in my ear and she says, um, I'm telling it now because you, you shouldn't have went here. But Jersey girl comes up to me in my ear. She said, your friend, she's a little standoffish. She ain't friendly. Her vibe ain't right. So before I could really respond to her, we were turning the corner and the birthday girl was standing right there so we couldn't have a conversation. But I told her, it is her birthday. Like, it's her birthday. Exactly, Ryan. That's what I was thinking. Ryan said it sounded like she was just showing off of you. So we get her in this one store, right? We get in a true religion store. So I'm very honest about my spending. So I get in there. I see a pair of jeans, a little vest, tight work. I pick up the vest, pick up the jeans all together. It comes to like 300 bucks. I'm not doing it. So she walks in. She looks at the outfit. She had body work done. So she nice, y'all. She nice with it. Her body work ain't bad. She nice with it, okay? She goes and puts this outfit on. Outfit is bucking. I know she ain't gonna buy it. She knows she ain't gonna buy it. But the little boy in the store says something like she was hot or, you know, gave her a little compliment on it. Now, the lady's 70 years old, 68, about to be 69. She is. That ain't, she look good. She's 70, 68, about to be 69. January should be 69. But I'm telling y'all, she's tight work, but she had all this work done. So she going on, she end up jumping on the outfit, but what she does that really turns birthday girl's stomach is she comes out the dressing room to get undressed and she says something flirtatious to the man like he can take her clothes down and birthday girl ain't that kind of chick i don't she she was highly embarrassed so she was like you know what let me get out this store tisa that's your friend but i, I don't like her like the vibe ain't right with me so both of them now you know the vibe ain't right because neither one of them vibing i don't care i think it's funny but they ain't vibing so how, how did this end so she said let's in go one eat. mile use the right lane to exit right to new york 100 south central avenue so she said let's go eat so we went um i said well i don't want to spend a lot of money on food i didn't tell her but what i know is i'm not gonna let birthday girl spend no money this weekend so I want to do things within reason. I got four days in New York. So four times two, that's a lot of money for me. So we get to the point, the point of the end of our night. Oh, I thought you missed your exit. We get to the point of the end of our night. And she said, let's go to some Japanese joint. Because I'm not going to no Japanese joint. She said, they got the food. They cook the food right in front of you. This, that, another. Now, mind y'all, I done bought two Broadway tickets. Me and my homegirl, birthday girl, went out the first night I got there. Exit right to I New York, 100 food. South Central Avenue. Now you want me to go do some more stuff, and I done jumped on the glasses, these nice glasses right here. Y'all see them? The time for us, the faded, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I get in, y'all know. Anyway, so all this happens. All this happens. And we ended up not going to the Japanese place because I had to let her know this ain't my birthday. It's her birthday. We're going to do whatever she want to do. But she didn't care if I went out to eat. She didn't care if we went to a high price or low price mile. restaurant. But he me, I'm governing this thing because I know I'm spending money. So we end up in a restaurant. I know this is a long story. But we end up in a restaurant. As we go on through the restaurant, I end up at Chipotle's. She comes back in. Chipotle closed right when she got in there. In half a mile. So Use she don't got no Chipotle. So she comes to the table. 
with a face all wrinkled up with a hot dog. <laughs> so she was mad because she had to end up with a hot dog. So I'm looking at her, I'm like, Brie, ooh, sorry, Jersey girl, y'all scratch that out. Take that from the ledger. Anyway, so I say, Jersey girl, um, something about some food, something, you know, go up there and ask them or whatever, for whatever reason. So birthday girl still, even though she aggravated with Jersey girl, birthday girl say, here, have some of my food. Push it over here. Break bread with the chick. Chick say, no, I want your food. Jersey girl pour the food. I mean, birthday girl pour the food back. So, Jersey girl got her face still wrinkled up. She hungry as hell over there. She wants to eat. But ain't nothing left to eat. So, birthday girl looks at her again. We see her starving. Birthday girl pushes she the food back to her. Hey, get some of these chips and dip. Jersey girl couldn't help it. She was hungry. Her stomach had to take over. So she said, okay, I'm going to eat these chips and dip. So she eating the chips and dip and everything. And we, you know, we had a good night or whatever. But the whole while she was telling me how much money she spends. How much Continue money she spends. For 10 minutes to I-87 South, Major Deegan Expressway. So she ain't turning nobody on but herself because I don't care who's with me and I don't care how much money you spend. I'm not going to spend nothing but what I want to spend. So... We decided we're going to meet up the next day. We're going to go to the Broadway play. All three of us got tickets in a row, 22, 23, and 24. We're going to go to the Broadway play. But now she calls me, and she said, okay, when we go to this Broadway show, we're going to go here to eat. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. I don't know nothing about New York, so I'm whatever. It's, it's whatever. But... I let her know. I'm with the birthday girl. I ain't with you now. I'm with the birthday girl. She said, oh, no, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I said, okay, I'm with the birthday girl. So now she started telling me all the things she want to do. And I don't know the proximity to these places. So I talked to the birthday girl. The birthday girl said, I ain't the chauffeur. I ain't about to be taking nobody. You don't live in New York, Tisa, so you don't know. But I'm not about to do this. I'm not responsible for nobody. Tell chick she better drive her car because she said she was going to take the subway. And once she get over to the place, she's going to do everything else that she making plans to do. No, no, baby. It, you, you're not the birthday girl. She said, well, the birthday girl birthday was yesterday. Her birthday over with. <laughs> yeah, she said her birthday over with. So I said her birthday all week long. Birthday girl said my birthday all month long. What the hell you talking about? My birthday all month. I said a week. She said month. So, now I got to break it to Jersey that she ain't about to be in the car with us. We ain't say you couldn't go, but ain't nobody about to show for you around, right? So, you just have to make up some kind of lie. I say something like, you know, whatever. But I ain't lying. I just said what birthday girl said. Birthday girl said, I ain't about to... Um, nah, it ain't never over. Nick, I don't know what you're talking about. You got to tell me what you're talking about, Nick. But no, so birth, I, I call Jersey. I'm like, Jersey. Birthday girl says she ain't about to show for you. Well, I'm used to being chauffeured around. And I'm not used to being on a financial restraint. That's what she told me. Because I told her I wasn't going to spend no money on no high price food. Well, me and my friends go out. So birthday girl said, well, she feel like that. Oh, that's right, Nikki. The birthday ain't never over. So birthday girl say, well, if she feel like that. Why she ain't offer to pay for your food? Because the way me and my friends rock, and my friends know, my friends, my sisters, if we say we don't got enough money and we want to go, we going to go. Because one of us going to pay for it. If I tell Nikki right now I don't got enough money, Nikki going to pay for it if she want to go. If I tell birthday girl I don't got no money, birthday girl going to pay for it if she want to go. Because that's what friends do. Mm -mm. She said she don't like my money budget. So when she says that, I take it like she's shooting shots at me, like I don't got the money or I can't do it. So y'all know me. You know what I said? <laughs> you on <don't> hood. <laughs> you on low income housing. So you can do these things. You can do whatever you want to do as long as you paying ten dollars for rent. I pay for a mortgage. Birthday girl pay for a mortgage. We got real bills over here. We got real adult like things to do. 
so we can't sit up and jack money off and throw money around and don't get me wrong we can do what we want to do but responsibility is is another level when you talk about somebody who don't have nothing to lose all you got to do is go around and get body work and and, and, and do all this dumb stuff that you do but I got real bills I got real bills I got real kids I got real life things I got real savings account I got real banking account credit I, I got all this real so I don't throw my money away and I, I got personal just then because it gets you know you aggravated me just a little bit but I got real stuff whatever you can do I can do better simple as that I hate to say it but it can but I just don't care to do them they're not at the top of my list to do even to the point where this chick told me y'all because I had my recording glasses on and as I had my recording glasses on she said hey how much you pay for them glasses I said I paid 300 for these glasses she said oh but you got money for that now you talk about my pockets so that kind of aggravated me too but that's another story we'll get there this story too long and but did I lie about something no, I, I ain't lying about okay so um yeah exactly Nikki like exactly like she can she can look at the timeline and I'm not doing this to go back and forth but when you say stuff out of your mouth and anybody that knows me and I don't get too close to too many people but she knows me so she know my comeback be hell like don't do that to me don't do that to me and try to insult me like I ain't quick enough to catch on. Now what I was not quick enough to catch on to was that she wanted my partner, birthday girl, to show for her around. So birthday girl say, now if I do this, we gonna have to do this, we gonna have to do this, we gonna have to do this, we gonna, have to do this, we gonna have, and then I'm gonna have to bring her all the way back to the subway to get her where she, we ain't about to do that. It's birthday girl day, this is her day. This is her day. So we get to this place, cause now she mad. She pissy mad. But I'm the one, I drop you and leave you on red, or I hit you with the K. So every time she said something, I kept hitting her with the K. Not the okay, I just hit her with the K. Like whatever, however you feel, I'm gonna allow you to feel. I'm gonna I'm allow you to feel, she just texted me too, I don't know what it said, but I'm gonna allow you to feel how you feel because I can't change the way you feel. Only you can feel on something different. So I told her, we get to the place. She tell me she's going to be late. I'm cool with that because I don't even care. So we get to the place. And um, we sitting in a, in a row of chairs. And I, I, I really feel bad because I thought the row of chairs, we was in 22, 23, and 24. And I really thought the row of chairs was the way it was rolled up. Being I knew my Jersey girl and my birthday girl wasn't really getting along. I decided to sit in the middle because I'm cool with my Jersey girl and I'm cool with my birthday girl but the Jersey girl and the birthday girl they not vibing they're not vibing so when we get there we're a little late but if anybody that know me know I'm always late and I'm okay with being late because it's my money when it's my money I could be late ain't nobody paying me to be on time but so I pulls up a little late she had to move down some, but it's my bad that she had to move down because I thought the ro I thought the chair she was sitting in was the birthday girl chair. So I asked her to move over. Nathaniel, turn your phone up a little bit because ain't nobody else having this problem but you. But so I asked Jersey girl to move over. I'm like Jersey girl, move over a little bit. You know, move down two seats. Jersey girl said I ain't moving. I said move down like we trying to get in our seats. Jersey girl said I ain't moving. So now I'm looking stupid. Jersey girl get aggravated because me and birthday girl standing up in front of everybody. So Jersey girl moved anyway. Jersey girl just moved because she ain't want the aggravation and she moved. So we sitting there. I'm hungry as hell. I got some pretzels. Now y'all know it's quiet. I'm, I'm crackling on pretzels, eating on Pringles, making all the noise. Birthday girl. No, Jersey girl looks at me. She say, you country as hell. I don't know if she thought I was like a kid or something because she is 20 years older than me. So I said, your mammy country. And I left it like that. <laughs> Cause y'all know me. I'ma say some stuff. Like, don't say nothing to me. Up here at my data bank with stuff that just flows out, it just comes out. So the only thing I could think was your mammy. And I wasn't trying to talk about a mammy, but I said your mammy because that's what flew out. That's what came. So she ain't like that. Kept going on. 
Next thing you know, I had my shades on. I had my little dark boys in the, on in there. And they said something on the stage about the, some shades. And she looked at me and said something about some shades. I already felt like she had been throwing little daggers at me. So she said she wasn't talking about my shades. I felt like she was. That's when I busted with these some video recording shades. Like, don't try me because I'm smoother than a fan. And I busted these, these some glasses. So that's when she said a little smart stuff about you'll spend your money on that. And I will. And I will. So, the comeback be hell, Calvin. The comeback be hell. So we, you know, she sends me this message when we on our way. She said, look, I didn't look at the situation and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave. Yeah, don't shoot. Don't shoot. She say, um, hold on. I'm, I'm Ryan. I'll tell you that in a second. Hold on. Use the left two lanes to keep left to I-87 South Major Deegan Expressway. So, um, what was I at? She sent me a text message. And the text message said, after the play, I'm going to get on up out of there because... I don't like the vibe or something like that. But it was not that she didn't like the vibe. You were going to get up out of there because my partner already said she wasn't going to show for nobody around. Now, you done said you had all this money. You big money. You like to do this. You done jumped on a $300 outfit. You done did all this. I'm going to wear this with my Prada shoes. She making the point to say what she do, which I don't mind because I know how she is. So I'm I'm okay with it. I'm used to it. But my homegirl ain't used to it. So now you telling me you don't want to spend $50 on parking. Honey, yeah, you don't want to spend $50 on parking, but you want to have a good time. That's part of entertainment. I had to pay the $50 for us to park our car. Because birthday girl wasn't spending no money because I had the money to do it. So birthday girl wasn't spending no money, okay? So when you count my pockets, I want you to count everything in my pocket. So birthday girl ain't had to spend no money. We get to the play. Jersey girl all aggravated. I don't care because I'm here with birthday girl anyway. Jersey girl, she's going to be all right. I expect this out of her. But she cool. She cool. She's going to be all right. So we get outside. And I ain't never really been fake. So I'm okay with Jersey Girl. I don't have a problem. Because it is what it is. You ain't about to be in this girl car getting chauffeured around. And you shooting low blows at me. And birthday girl already aggravated. Because every time I tell her what you say out your mouth about me. Birthday girl look at me and she say, you going to allow her to talk to you like that? Ah, right, girl, I get over it. She'll get over it. One of us will get over it. You know, because I don't care. I ain't about to go back and forth with you niggas. So, we get outside. I'm with birthday girl. So, me and Jersey girl, we hug, dap up. Hey, I'll let you later. Everybody go their separate ways. She ain't say bye to my friend. She ain't say bye to the birthday girl. But birthday girl was cool. Because birthday girl said she didn't want to say bye because she'd be fake anyway. We get in the car and we go. We end up going to Harlem. Had a good time. I showed y'all some clips of the Harlem. I don't know if she's seen the clips of the Harlem and it got to her because we had fun. We had a ball. We had a birthday celebration. It was all about the birthday girl this weekend. I'm thinking it's over, y'all. I'm thinking it's over. Now I get a flush of text messages. She just texting me, texting me, texting me, telling me about how she was disappointed. So what did I say? Let me tell y'all what I say. Thank you, Calvin, for the stars. She shouldn't be counting my pockets. But if I could read to y'all the text message when she said something about she ain't used to her friends having a limit to spend. My limit to spend, I don't even got to go over that. But yeah, she ain't no business counting my pocket because I can do what I want to. I ain't coming to New York broke. You can't come to New York broke. I'm going to tell y'all that. If y'all ain't never been, don't come here broke, okay? So she shoot me text messages. And I, I forget what I was doing at the time. And we, I was having a ball. That's what I was doing. I forgot. I was having a ball. We were eating. <laughs> Hell, I forgot. I was having a ball. I'm talking about I forgot what I was doing. I was having a ball. So when I get back, <laughs> I was having a ball. I forgot I was having a ball. But when I get back to where we were going, to the house, and y'all, she has a beautiful house. So I was telling the girl, oh, the house is next to heaven. Like, her house was right up under heaven and I don't think she liked it that because like I said she living in a section 8 community project but you wearing $300 outfit look it's better things to do with your money it's some real grown up stuff to do with your money so but I ain't go there I'm going there now because I just want to get it out because I wasn't going to say this to her and I would have said it in private but I looked and I seen what she had then got on social media and 
spurted out all this dumb junk. And I thought it was crazy. Like, why would you do that when we got each other's phone number? So I said, told my birthday girl, I said, it would make for a good story if I got on the internet and told it. I just won't say her name, but it make for a good story, right? <laughs> it's making for a good story. You guys are still here. But, um, so she started shooting all these text messages out to me. All these text messages. How wrong I was and how this. So what I did, y'all, I hit it with the K. K. Hit it with the K. That's all I did. Hit it with the K. So every time I hit her with the K, it must have made her mad because she kept coming back. I hit her with, you'll be all right. Hit her with the K, you'll be all right. So she kept going. I'm like, man, you know what? Go to sleep. Like, go to sleep. Woke up this morning. Here she come again. I'm like, man, this girl, she, she's on it. She's on one. So I said, she said something about us hurting her feelings. And, and my friend had low, low vibration, low energy. The birthday girl had low vibration. But we had a good time, but she had low vibration. So as she continued on, I said, um, your expectations is what's did it, what's, what disappointed you. And anybody that follows me know that I, I, I preach that one a lot. People can't disappoint you. You're only disappointed by what you expect out of people. And what you expected out of me, Jersey, was to come up here and spend this weekend with you when you knew that it was a birthday girl on board. Now, if you want to steal somebody's birthday, now I don't know how to, I don't know how you do that, but I ain't gonna steal nobody's birthday. She jazzy as hell, ain't she? Mm -hmm. Um, but anyway, so I wasn't gonna steal nobody's birthday. You want to steal somebody's birthday? You expected for me to go along with that boy as she was doing, and I'm not gonna do it. So your expectations is what bothered you, and that's what I told her. Um, I didn't, I didn't, I don't think that it was wrong to cater to the birthday girl. I don't, and anybody that felt like you should, I, I came up here. I bought a ticket to come to New York, not because Jersey invited me, but the birth, what did I, I'm sorry. No, I'm trying to figure out what she's saying. She said, make a U-turn right here. I don't know, but that's what she's saying. Is she wrong? She shouldn't have made me go this way in the first place. But not because Jersey invited me. But the birthday girl invited me. So what you expect of me? What's supposed to happen? And I seen you on here. I seen you when you popped in, Jersey girl. So you should be thinking to yourself, Florida girl. I'm Florida girl. Make a U-turn on East 138th Street. Ooh, ooh, did you, girl, this is how we drive? Yeah, I had to turn it on. I had to turn it on. Stacy, I am so enjoying New York. But no, you should say that 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 you was wrong. You should really admit that you were wrong. You should admit that every action gets a reaction. One hundred thirty fifth street. Am I talking where you can't hear? Oh, every action gets a reaction. So for what you did and the way you went on this weekend, you caused everything to happen. You caused the energy to be bad. You caused all that because I was cool. If you'd have let you and your, you and your, whatever y'all was going through, whatever energy, y'all didn't have to link up. Y'all didn't have to really vibe. Y'all didn't have to. But when you go to shooting shots and you go to saying things, you turning my vibe off because I already know you. But you turning my vibe off by the little slick, sh where is where you at? I don't know. That's all right. We're going to get there. If I miss a plane, I got insurance. You and then you're going to get stuck with me again. <laughs> y'all, I've been trying to get left here. <laughs> I've been trying to get left. It's taking me to the FDR, but I don't know how to get around. It's right here. Down this way. Oh, these people are stupid. In 700 feet. Oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't right there. Um, no, Stacy, I didn't get to see it. I didn't know nothing about it, but we on our way. I'm on my way to the airport now. Yeah, I'm on my way to the airport. My my vacation is over. This was a, um, a spur of the moment thing. I got on a plane Thursday. Came up with the idea. Um, Anthony, I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the same thing, Anthony. Anthony said narcissists would always point out, but never take accountability. And that's what she's not doing. She's not taking accountability for the part that she played. In this whole trip. 
and if it was her friend and if it was her friend's birthday then i hope that she wouldn't be so rude as to drop her uh, drop her home girl like this, this your friend don't do that don't do that don't do that have a have a little more love for other people it ain't all about self it's not all about self it's about it, it ain't all about self when you invite me up now that now that i see how things rock i probably wouldn't come now no way but because I, I don't like the, the terms you use i'm not a fan you don't have to be a fan but do i consider you a fan hell yeah i consider you a fan you're one of my biggest fans and i like it i like it about you you're a fan you're gonna be right there but you don't have to be you don't have to be i'm gonna let y'all go that's all i came to say i did i get everything out i pretty much said everything i hope y'all like my glasses i've been looking for a pair of tom fords these ain't quite the ones I wanted. These were way bit cheaper. Because y'all know I don't like to spend no money. So yeah, these was a lot bit cheaper than the ones I wanted. But I think they I think they getting their point across. I think I'm cooler than a fan outside with a monk. Yes, I'll let y'all go. Y'all holla at me. And um, say happy birthday to the birthday girl over here. <laughs> I, I... Hey. <laughs> yeah, that's a birthday girl. I ain't gonna tell y'all her name. Calvin, they nice, but you'd rather see my eyes. I don't got the makeup on today, baby. This is what you get. You know when I put them lashes on, they make my eyes pop. I got a lot of the story wrong, hell. Oh, well, you had to be here to know. <laughs> a lot of the story wrong. Yeah. Why, somebody else was there? No, uh, my friend Brina said I got the story wrong. But she had to be here to know. So, anyway. I'm out. I'll talk to y'all later.